which expression is equivalent to 5x to the fifth minus 6x to the fourth plus 8x to the third. So we're ha we have this expression given to us in the problem, and we need to find out which one of these is it is equivalent to. So it seems here they just factored out from the original equation. So looking at all of these, we see that we can't really factor out a constant because these coefficients here don't have any factors in common. So like 6 has factors of 3 and 2, but 5 does not have any f factors equal to 3 or 2. So these don't have all none of these all of these do not have a factor that is shared among them but they all have x raised to a certain power so what we can do is get the le the smallest x the, the x raised to the smallest power and factor that out so if we take an x to the third factor out the first expression will just have a 5x squared left over because when you multiply x cubed with x squared, you have to add the exponents together. So 3 plus 2 is 5, and then 5 is, stays out in the, as a coefficient, and that'll give us back the original term. But in, the, in this format, this is the factored out version. From the middle term, we keep the negative 6, and we can only factor out just a single x because this is like saying this x is raised to the first power but we don't write that we just write the x so x cubed times x is just going to be adding the powers together so 3 plus 1 is 4 so that would give us back the original term so that's how we know that this is the correct factored out version and then for the third term we have the negative 8 and there's no x in the parentheses because here our third term was already an x cubed. So just we would just be multiplying that with 8. So this is the correctly factored out version of the original e expression. Both of these are equivalent. This is just factored. This is just the expression with an x cubed factored out. And this is equal to answer choice B.